Okay, so let's uh, continue. So first you use a subject, all right? You use a subject, then uh, you continue and uh, add a verb. You continue and add a verb, okay? And uh, also a time, okay? For example, in the morning or any other time, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's how you make mm -hmm. a sentence, okay? Also, you can also, also, you can also use adverbs, okay? Podemos utilizar adverbios or uh, to, modify, to say how often, o sea, para decir qué tan seguido hacemos una actividad. Por ejemplo, I usually exercise at noon, okay? For example, I usually exercise at noon. That's about myself, okay? I'm saying how often I do this activity. I usually exercise at noon all right now let's practice making sentences like this vamos a practicar hacer oraciones como estas primero utilizamos el sujeto right mire look at the example in the chat i usually exercise at noon sujeto then we use an adverb utilizamos un adverbio como usually un, ver, un verbo como exercise y a complement, probably a time. Es un complemento como una hora o digamos algún tiempo durante el día. Now, uh, more adverbs. My, hay más adverbios que podemos, eh, que podemos utilizar. Por ejemplo, decimos always. Repeat after me. You say always. 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 Great, great. Always. Pretty good. Always. 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 All right. Always. Then uh, we say uh, usually. 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 Yes. Usually. 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 Yes, yes. Usually. Then uh, we can use the word uh, sometimes. All right. So we say sometimes. 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 Okay, great. Sometimes. And uh, uh, we can also use the word never all right never 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 yes never yeah usually sometimes and uh, never okay always let's practice them all together vamos a practicarlos todos juntos always 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 usually usually, usually. usually. Sometimes, 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 and never, never, never. never. Okay, never. great. Now let's practice making more sentences. Ahora vamos a practicar hacer otras oraciones. Like, y vamos a utilizar this model. Vamos a utilizar este modelo. First, el sujeto, luego el adverbio, ad adverb of frequency, el adverbio de frecuencia, y luego Vamos a utilizar una, un verbo de una actividad. Like, for example, take a shower. I always take a shower every day. Ok. Uh, y luego un tiempo. No necesariamente. Es un complemento opcional. Ok. So, let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Remember, this class is about conversation. All right. El, la idea de esa clase es conversar. All right. So, let's, let's practice that together. So, please. Uh, who would like to be first? Uh, let's start. Uh, anybody? Any volunteer? Anybody who would like to volunteer? Alguien que quisiera. Uh, que quisiera... Anybody who would like to start? Vamos a comenzar a hacer oraciones sobre nuestra rutina diaria, digamos. Y vamos a decir, vamos a utilizar adverbs of frequency. O sea, los adverbios que vimos. Always, usually, sometimes, E never. Okay, so let's do it. So anybody, please? Yes, I'm. Uh, okay, go ahead, please. I am. I'm always cook uh, the cook. I always cook every day. 
you always cook every day. Okay, great. Very good. <laughs> every meal. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Hey, pretty good. So uh, let's let's hear uh, let's hear okay. Marta. Marta, how about you? Any sentence that you want to share? Remember the formula. Vamos a utilizar la misma formula. Subject, okay. I. All right, great. Then uh, Angel is going to be next. All right, go ahead, Marta, please. I always go to work every day. You always go to work every day. Okay, pretty good. Very good. All right. Uh, let's hear somebody else. Let's, oh, yeah, Angel. Angel said you want to participate. So please, thanks. Angel, go ahead. I, oh, thanks. I always get up at 5 a.m. every oh. day. Really? From Monday to Friday. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Still in lockdown? Yeah, aún así cuando estamos in lockdown and in, in quarantine? Yes, yes. Wow. Wow. Very good. All right, then uh I think uh Fatima. Fatima, go ahead, please. Okay, uh, I usually cook the lunch for my mom and me. Okay, so you cook lunch, you make lunch for your mom and yourself. Great, very yes. good. All right, uh, Miguel, do you want to participate? Uh, yes. Well, yes. All uh, right, go ahead, please. I, I always eat uh, my breakfast in the morning. Okay, you always eat your breakfast in the morning. Pretty good. All right. Then uh, Lourdes, Lourdes, you're next. Please go ahead. I always watch the TV series every night. Okay, you always watch a TV series every night. All right, interesting. Hey, uh, what TV series do you watch? Um, in this moment, and I watch um, Aaron. Oh, I don't know that one. I don't know that one. What, what you said? Aaron. Aaron. Oh, oh Aaron. It's like a superhero. It's a, it's a superhero. No, oh, Arrow, yeah, Arrow. Arrow is uh, from uh, DC, right? From DC Comics, I think. Is the DC Comics, verdad? I think. Yeah, I think it is. It's a fun series. Yeah, interesting. Very good. Hey, somebody else? Anybody else? Remember, let's use the formula, okay? Let's practice using this formula. All right? Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh yeah, Louis, please go ahead. I sometimes get up at, at 6 a.m. At 6 a.m., sometimes. Okay, well that's good. Sometimes only, great, pretty good. All right, anybody else who wants to participate? Anybody else who wants to try, please? Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Let's have Lily. Please go ahead. Liliana Reyes. Yes. Go ahead, Lily. I sometimes take my son at school. You sometimes take your son at school. Okay. So not every day. Very good. All right. Great. Thank you. How about you, Georgina? Do you want to participate too? I sometimes go to the market in the morning. Okay, some, you sometimes go to the market in the morning. All right, good, pretty good. All right, great, great. So that's uh, pretty much how we do this, okay? Así es prácticamente como eh, formamos oraciones sobre nuestra rutina. But this is with, uh, with uh, verbs, okay? Eso, Eso lo hacemos con verbos, como los que ustedes mencionaron. Como verbos como go, you know, go, to, uh, go home, go to school, go to work. O sea, verbs like those, or have breakfast, take a shower. Todos esos son, all of those are verbs, ok? Todos esos son verbos. Pero, pero también eh, hay otros, hay otra manera de... Hablar sobre nuestra rutina. Por ejemplo, podemos, we can use the verb. Podemos utilizar el, el verbo be. Do you remember verb be? Do you remember verb be? Like I am, you are, he is, and she is, and so on. 
Do you remember that? The word on the verb be? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. So almost. All right. Almost. Almost. Uh, almost. Ooh, okay, let's refresh. Vamos a hacer un refresh. Okay? Let's refresh it. So with uh, the verb be, you know, let you know, look at the chat. I'm I'm always putting uh putting new info there. Uh M is and are utilizamos una, una estructura un poco diferente. So, por ejemplo, podemos decir I I am usually at home in the morning. Okay, I'm usually at home in the morning. All right. So, cuando hablamos cuando utilizamos el verb be, ahora fíjense cómo cambia la estructura. Utilizamos I, luego el verb be, am, luego el adverbio, okay? So that's the only thing that changes. Veamos otra vez, I, el sujeto, am, verb be, usually, el adverb, at home in the morning. Entonces, ahí cambia la posición, we change the position of the adverb, okay? Pero solo cuando utilizamos el el uh, verb be cambia la posición. O sea, primero va verb be y luego va el adverb. All right. Uh, another example. I'm always happy. Yes, look. I'm always happy. Okay. Podemos utilizar esta estructura también. I'm always happy. Ven, I... Luego el verb be, luego el verb be, then uh, verb be, always happy, ok, luego un complemento, ven cómo cambia la, la posición, eh, la posición de los, del, del adverbio y del, y del uh, verbo, so that's only with the verb be, solo con, con el verb be, uh, for example, you, say, you can say, I'm I'm never at work in the afternoon. O sea, nunca estoy en el trabajo en la tarde because I work in the morning and I work in the evening. But I'm never at work in the afternoon. Okay? So, utilizamos recuerden que utilizamos el verb be para hablar de Estados, o sea, de dónde, de dónde está usted o de cómo se siente. No, está, no lo utilizamos para acciones en concreto. Entonces, if we do that, uh, we just change the position of the verb. So, yeah, does anybody want to give examples? ¿Alguien quiere, que quiera dar ejemplo sobre esto? ¿Alguien quiere dar un ejemplo sobre esto? Anybody? Anybody? Like, uh, for example, try another sentence like, I'm usually at, and so on. So, for example, where, where are you usually? Where are you usually in the evening? Where are you usually in the evening? Mm. Oh, in the evening, in the evening, I'm usually at home. For example, okay. Alguien más que quiera dar un ejemplo so como ese? I'm usually at. Or how do you feel? In the mornings, how do you usually? Yes, please. Uh, For example, Luis? teacher. Yes, go ahead. I never work at seven a.m. That's a great example. Yeah, I'm never at work at seven a.m. Yeah, good, good. Okay. All right. Estamos hablando de dónde estamos o cómo estamos. Entonces, cuando hablamos de eso. Cambiamos la posición del adverbio, ¿ok? Y vamos, decimos, I'm never, I'm usually, he is never, she is never, we are usually, we are always, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando hablamos de dónde estamos o cómo estamos, cambiamos la posición del adverbio, ¿ok? So, yes, I want to hear more examples, please. I want to hear more examples uh, from you, from you, please. First, you can say, I am, 
like for example where you are in the morning or how you are in the morning yes go ahead Suma, okay uh, i'm sometimes play with my daughter in the morning on friday uh, okay all right all right good jennifer i sometimes play with my daughter uh with my daughter in the morning yeah that's a that's a good that's a good one right pero recuerden que hablamos de donde estamos o como estamos cuando utilizamos el verb be okay right so let's see anybody else anybody else alguien más que quiera dar un ejemplo does anybody else want to share any other example i'm usually hungry at the morning you're usually hungry in the morning that's yeah. a good one too that's a great <laughs> example i'm i'm usually hungry all day <laughs> i eat a lot myself yes pretty good pretty good all right uh let's see hey somebody else anybody else wants to, wants to share any other example anybody hi yes I'm go ahead martin always yes uh, to home at night i'm always at home all right i'm always hi. sorry go ahead go ahead you say it yourself you say it. i'm always at home right i'm always at home at night great i think uh carlos wants to participate don't you carlos okay okay ready yes go ahead please i'm usually very busy it's okay it's a perfect sentence it's a perfect sentence great very good very good all right great all right fine and uh all right good so esas son oraciones muy really good ones they're they're really really good sentences so um now we're going to we're going to do uh to do this nos vamos a dividir en grupos pequeños okay y we're going to discuss, vamos a practicar, vamos a hablar sobre nuestras actividades diarias, okay? We speak about, we're going to speak about our daily activities. So, um, here are the questions, okay? What, and the uh, questions are in the chat. So, look at them. What do you usually do in the morning? What do you usually do in the afternoon? What do you usually do in the afternoon? And uh, what do you usually do in the evening? Okay. What do you usually do in the evening? Okay. Uh, where are you where are you usually on weekends, for example? Where are you usually on weekends? So we're going to discuss uh, these one, two, three, four questions in small groups, okay? Voy a dividirlos. Uh, I'm gonna use breakout rooms, so I'm gonna divide you and please discuss these uh, five, uh, these four questions together. Y vamos a discutir esas preguntas. Remember to give full answers, okay? Recuerden dar oraciones completas, okay? Like, I'm, uh, I usually go to work or I sometimes have breakfast or, uh, I am uh, never home on the weekend, okay? So, uh, yes, let's do this. So, let's, uh, I'm going to send an invitation from breakout rooms, okay? Les voy a, vamos a utilizar, uh, give me a, just a second, please. Why is it that I'm unable to? Just a second, please. Just allow me one second, please. And uh, let me just. Uh... All right, just a second. Mm -hmm. Apparently. 
Okay, I'm unable to break to use breakout rooms now. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna continue working like this. Vamos a continuar así porque uh, I'm having estoy teniendo un problema así con la con la herramienta. So we cannot break out use breakout rooms now. But let's continue. So uh, let's discuss these questions together. Vamos a discutirlas aquí todos juntos. All right. So let's do it. So uh, you guys. You guys, uh, what do you usually do in the morning? ¿Qué es lo que hacen en la mañana? Or let's see, in the afternoon. Let's discuss the afternoon. We talked about the morning already. Ya hablamos de la mañana, okay? Entonces, vamos a ver. Eh, let's do this. Uno de ustedes, one of you, is going to ask a question to any of your classmates. O sea, uno de ustedes va a hacer una pregunta a sus compañeros, okay? Who wants to be the first? ¿Quién quiere ser el primero en preguntar? Who wants to be the first to start? Okay, uh, please go ahead, Car uh, Carlos. You can be the first. Okay. Yes, go ahead. When you go, when you go to the market, um, Fatima Giselle. Uh, when do you usually go to the market? That's a good question. Uh, when do you usually? Yeah, that's Sorry. a good question. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Uh, so, let me see. Yes. Fatima, you said, right? So, Fatima, when do you usually yes. go to the market? I usually go to the market um, in the afternoon. In the afternoons. Okay. Yeah. That, that's, a good, that's a good thing to do. Yes. You usually go to the market in the afternoon. All right. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, how about, all right, let's ask, oh, give me a second. Okay, yes, all right, great. And uh, how about uh, how about you, Zulma? Uh, would you like to ask any question? Le puede preguntar a otra, can you ask another classmate? Can you ask another classmate? Your microphone is uh, ready. Ahora le puedo preguntar a otro compañero, please. Zuma, are you there? Can you hear me? Hola. Yes, can you hear me? Hola, yo lo escucho. Yes, okay. El, me escucha. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Debo hacer una pregunta. Yeah. De, de yes, no, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, Suma. You can uh, look at the chat. In the chat, tenemos las preguntas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Una de esas preguntas, ¿verdad? Yes. What do you usually do in the evening? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, and ask anybody. A... Ask anybody, ah, please. Okay. Uh, Fatima. Okay. All right. What do you usually do in the evening? Uh, I usually cook the dinner and usually play with my dog. All right. Good. Good. Pretty good. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. And uh, now, uh, Fatima, I think it's your turn. Fatima, it's your turn to ask anybody else, all right? Uh, so, ask anybody else, Fatima. Entonces, usted le va a preguntar you, a, a otro compañero. It's your turn to ask somebody else, please. Uh, Fatima? Yes. Fatima, yeah, it's your turn to, to ask. To Angel. All right, uh, Angel. All right, ask Angel. Any of the questions here, please. Where are usually on weekends? All right, that's a good question. Where are you usually on weekends? I usually do on weekend. I don't sleep. <laughs> are you? Usually on weekends. Oh, all right. Uh, all right. So, um, 
here this we mean where do you understand where uh, where, where yes. are okay. you usually on weekends i like, i usually where in my house uh, on weekend. i'm i'm usually i'm usually at home you can say at home okay yes i'm usually at home i'm usually at home okay good good in English, in English, we usually say at home. O sea, por lo general en inglés, y la norma es decir at home. Y nosotros en español decimos, ah, en la casa, ¿verdad? But it's not okay to say in the house, all right? Or, in, uh, or I'm usually in my house. We, in English, we usually say at home, okay? Es como una, es como una, uh, una expresión. Okay, at home. No se dice en la casa, like, like in, we, say, we say in Spanish, right? But it's good, it's good. We, we just have more practice. Now, Angel, it's your turn to ask anybody else, please. Es su turno de preguntarle a, a, a otro compañero. Okay, uh, Marta. Okay, you're going to ask Marta. All right. Where are you usually on Friday at night? Mm -hmm. Good night. Where are you usually Friday night? Okay, good. I'm ready to listen. Please. I usually cook. Uh, where are you? ¿A dónde está? Where are you ah. usually on weekends? ¿A dónde está? In, in my house. You I are... usually in my house. Great, great. That's a very good answer. Hey, Marta, it's your turn. To ask anybody else. Es su turno de preguntarle a otro compañero. Preferably, preferably a person that hasn't spoken. De preferencia a alguien que no ha participado en esta última actividad o en esta última sesión de preguntas. Please, go ahead. Yes, sir. Where Hello? are you usually on weekend? Oh, wait, 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 oh. Esther. All right, your microphone is ready. Go ahead. I usually visit my parents on weekend. Uh, okay, so you are usually at your parents, right? On yes. weekends. Okay, all right, but, but that's good. That's a good answer too. So great, great, very good, very good. Hey, Esther, it's your turn to ask another classmate, please. Go ahead. Now. Okay. Hi, Ma. What do you usually do in do what do you usually do in the evening? Jaime. Jaime, Jaime, are you there? Your microphone is ready. Jaime, Jaime are you there? What do you usually do in the evening? Mm. You know, I'm afraid Jaime can't hear you. Okay. So don't worry. You pick somebody else. Mm. Oh. Jaime, you're breaking up. Uh, didn't you had probably you need hello? Hello. Oh. All right. Again, hello. Yes, now we can hear you. Please give it a try. Can you hear me? Yes, you now, hear me? yes. now we can. Yes, man. Now we can. Go ahead, please. Hi, May. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he has uh, connection issues. Um, yeah, do, do ask uh, another student, please. Pregúntale a alguien más. Ask another okay. classmate. Uh, Victor, what do you usually do on uh, in the evening? Uh, which uh, uh, Victor you mean? Yes, all right. Yes, I usually watch TV in, in the evening. Okay, I usually watch TV. Okay, that's a good answer, uh, Victor. Hey, pretty good. We're gonna stop the, the question and answer right now uh, because I, I, want, uh, I want to announce something. 
eh, quiero que I want you to please uh, complete the knowledge check. Quiero que completen el knowledge check que está en la plataforma. Ahorita estamos en la parte número uno. Voy a compartir mi pantalla para que lo puedan ver. Entonces, eh, we're gonna we're gonna complete we're gonna complete the knowledge check in uh, in uh, in your platform. So section one in the section number one. Pueden ver mi pantalla? Can you see my screen? No, teacher. Not yet. No. Okay. No. No, no, teacher. Not all right. No. Just a sec. Just a sec. I think it's loading. All right. Let's. Uh, and let's just share a screen. How about now? No. It, not yet. I guess it's coming up. Okay. Entonces, uh, so if if you can't, I think it should be should be coming up now because I'm screen sharing. Uh, so, uh, one more time. Okay, I understand, Jaime. That's no problem. Okay. Entonces, no. You, you can't see it? Well, I'll yes. put it in the chat, okay? Uh, yes. Yeah, now you can. All right, good. Sorry if it's okay. taking too long. So, uh, we're going to complete knowledge check 1.4, okay? Para practicar, digamos, lo que hemos visto ahora sobre... sobre Frequency adverbs, o sea, sobre los adverbios de frecuencia y nuestros, nuestros eh, hábitos uh, diarios. We're going to complete, vamos a completar, we're going to complete uh, knowledge check uh, 1.4. Okay? So you guys uh, completed probably after the class or sometime tomorrow. Lo completan durante el día mañana o, o, o durante la, durante, o ahora al finalizar la clase. So you guys can have more practice, ok? Para que puedan practicar lo que utilizamos ahora, ok? Ok. All right, great. Okay, teacher. All right, hey, guys, it's, uh, let me stop sharing here, my screen. So don't forget, knowledge check number 1.4. Uh, yes, so. Hey guys, it was a really, really great pleasure to meet you today. It's un gran gusto. It was a great, uh, I had a great time with you. You are all uh, very interesting and uh, very good people. So, I uh, will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Nos veremos mañana and uh, we will continue practicing more, all right? Thank you for your time. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. See you tomorrow, guys. God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you. Goodbye. Take care, guys.